he freed me. He freed you. He freed every single one of us. I say today Mandela is a very, very good man. I became captivated by the stories of the men and women of South Africa that we know and love today. But the one thing that drove me was to meet and photograph Nelson Mandela. But I was told by all and sundry it was never going to happen. This country, you know, we were prepared to see the most incredible race war erupt. There comes a time that you either succumb or you fight back. I felt so humbled to be part of such bravery. When he walked out of jail, we didn't even know we were crying. The whole world just came to a standstill. We never imagined that Mandela is going to be a president, that I'm going to be a member of parliament. Happily, I lived long enough to experience a change. When Nelson Mandela asked to see the portraits of these men and women that had become part of a project that he'd inspired, that moment was the most humbling moment of my life. Philip Tobias, Dr. Philip Tobias. And I think you know him, that's F.W. Sorry, Madiba, you're saying when you were in prison. I never thought I'd come out, but one day, they just says, Mandela, you can go home. And now you are home. Mandela represents an image of possibility. He still had the capacity to forgive so many ugly things. He respects all life. He doesn't even kill a fly. Why is it that we admire people like Mahatma Gandhi, Nelson Mandela? The answer must be that it is because they are good. Perfect. Can I assist you? This is not the size of my face. Oh. <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> and at one point I looked up and every single one of the crew was crying and all I could think about was, I hope this is in focus. <laughs> That's good. Tilt it down a bit, please. Perfect. I chose to photograph a reflection of Nelson Mandela so that when we look at that portrait, we can reflect on ourselves, we can reflect on his legacy, and we can reflect on our future. Never, never, and never again shall it be that this beautiful land will again experience the oppression of one by another. Let freedom reign. God bless Africa.